Alright now Bob, to this location, Coventry, where we are, don't you take me away. Does it taste nice? Let's find out. All I want to know is, does it taste nice? Don't you take me away. I was taken away, but I'm back now like the last one found. It's a mad thing. Let's go straight into it. Many choices and value for money. When we talk about menu choices, I really like their level of sophistication, their level of elegance, their level of thought process behind what they, their, their menu because they presented me with the book, like the book of Eli. It's a mad thing. And when we look at the menu now, it's got everything you could need in there. You got your crepes, you got your cookie doughs, you got your waffles. And I think the menu is clear and concise. And yeah, all your sugary desires can be found in Dolce's uh, menu. So yeah. The menu choices were decent. So we ordered the Lotus Pancake with vanilla gelato ice cream. That was £8.70. And we ordered the hazelnut and Nutella milk cake. That was £6.50. Then we ordered the What She Had Waffle with vanilla gelato ice cream once again. Another £7.30. And then we ordered the Fruits of the Forest mocktail. That was £5.20. And all in all, we're looking at a bowl of grand total. £27 and 70 pennies. Mad thing. So when we talk about value for money, I was presented with a sea of dessert delightfulness. It was an oasis of paradise. Obviously, when I took out the measurement tape now to do the standardised test, because you know this is standardised, like that GCSE test in year 11, yeah? When we first talk about the milk cake, it was on a miniature scale. It weren't as big as it could have been. I think they could have extended the size of it by a little two, three centimetres and made it a more wholesome size of a cake. So the size it churned, that was a bit miniature. We went on to the pancakes. That held a, a, decent, a decent depth. That was a bigger size compared to the milk cake. So the pancakes were decent. When we talk about the what she had waffle, the circular circumference of the geophysics, they were decent, they were decent. The waffle maintained a good weight. It maintained a good circular perpendiculation. And yeah, when I took out the measurements, the overall analysis was good. So many choices and value for many. Don't you take me away. I'm giving you a solid eight out of 10. Because look, although that's a good score, the prices themselves are a bit on the high end of the scale. And I think if you guys really dropped a pound or two here and there, your team would have been up. But eight out of 10, that's a good score, that's a good score. Before we eat, let's pray. In the book of Genesis, chapter six, verse six, God asked Freddie Francis, does it taste nice? Freddie Francis said, let's hit the belly and find out. Talking said, it's dinner time. <laughs> So let's move on to first bite and overall taste because this was a journey that I really paid economy for. I was enjoying this flight. Let's talk about the hazelnut and Nutella milk cake because I've never experienced a milk cake before and this was a goodness gracious experience. It was a lovely experience. When you first dip into the milk cake, it's got that spongy light texture on the taste buds that almost disintegrates without minimal frustration and effort. And I really like that. The cream that they had on the top had a little carrot kind of taste on it. And I really like that, that, that different kind of contrast with the chocolate in the sponge and the cream on top. And you get that kind of slightly salty kind of taste. But then as it goes down the esophagus, you greet it with the nice sweetness from the hazelnut and the sponge and the milk chocolate kind of milk that they've got soaking in this thing. So my first experience of a milk cake was very nice. That was very nice. The what she had waffle took me on an amazing taste bud journey. I've just come back from the voyage two minutes ago. It's a mad thing. They get premier cruises and that. I mean, when we first talk about the actual fluffiness of the waffle, you can tell the, the mix that they used to make this waffle is of the highest order. There's no compromise with their thing. It's up. You get me? 
when we talk about the actual taste itself now you get the nice little fluffiness from the actual waffle you get that sweet sour kind of flavor from the fresh fruits on there obviously you get the nice smoothness and the little distinct flavor of the intense chocolate that's also on there and yeah the overall kind of swallowing extravaganza is polished off by the vanilla gelato ice cream you see how they're using gelato not normal ice cream that thing's up my brother the textures the ingredients the overall combination of the flavors really complement supplement and I was trying to look for alliteration, but I couldn't. But you know what I'm trying to say? It works well. So yeah, the what she had waffle is something I would be having again in the future. So let's move on to the lotus pancake now. The taste buds were doing a little salsa and fiesta in my mouth, and I really enjoyed it. I think out of the three desserts, that was the best one, because this was amazing, yeah? And when you dip into it, you're greeted with the crunch of the lotus pieces. You get the nice little mix from the ice cream and then you get the nice little contextualized texture from the pancakes because the pancakes were cooked to the right duration because they were cooked where they maintained a little outer crisp but they weren't too crisp you get me so when we talk about the bite now obviously you're also greeted with the nice little kind of biscoff cream syrup liquid that they've dashed on there that's added another little complexion another little dimension to the thing and yeah it was a very flavorsome flavorsome pancake conundrum when we talk about the forest of fruits mocktail that was mad you know that's the first time i've tried a mocktail as well and i really like the, the kind of refreshing twist from it all you got the strawberries in there i think you got blueberries in there and the way that it's maintained the sparkling infusion of a fruit burst it was mad but yeah it was it was very nice overall and wow what else can i say so first bite and overall taste i'm giving you guys an amazing 9.75 out of 10 because look the kind of desserts on offer are more extravagant than the usual dessert and obviously when you take into account the ingredients the overall combination of the tastes it's only right to give this 9.75 it only feels right so yeah don't you take me away, your thing's on job, proper, proper. So let's talk about the cleanliness and customer service. When you first walk into Don't You Take Me Away, you're really taken away. I mean, the way they've architecturalized the architecture in their establishment shows that sophistication is there. The staff themselves are suited and booted just to add another element of sophistication to their sophistication, you get me? One thing I would say is when I was sitting down and eating, I didn't really have them coming to me and asking if I was okay, how was the food, did I have a heart attack, and those kind of customary questions. So I think in that department, they kind of lacked slightly. But overall, it was a good experience. I can't really lie, I can't really lie. When we go on to cleanliness now, once again, when you first walk into the store, it's a very clean store, obviously. When you go behind the back area, once again, very clean. I would point out one thing, when I run the finger across one particular surface, there was dust there. Obviously, Mr. Sheen, you can get that for probably about a pound. So it won't, it won't take too much for you to pattern up that particular area. Obviously, whoever you had cleaning on that day, sack home, hire someone else, you don't know. But as a whole, everything was clean. I've got no complaints. So cleanliness and customer service, I'm giving you guys 8.5 out of 10. I just think you guys need to be more attentive when it comes to really comforting the customer whilst they're eating. And also, I think you like need to just pattern up the dust here and there. Mr. Sheen will sort you out, sack the cleaner, and yeah, your thing will be up next time. But for the time being, 8.5 out of 10. So let's look at the overall scores because I know don't you take me away. I've taken it away. It's how I'm acting. So boom, out of a possible 30 marks, don't she take me away, I've scored 26 0.25 out of 30. Now look, you're in and amongst it in the top three battle between Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea. Obviously, your thing's up. You're not, you're not, you're not struggling in mid-table like Arsenal and then Monday. So your thing's proper. 
So I know what you're asking me. You're asking, does it taste nice? And my answer is, yes, it does. It's a mad thing. And let me explain why. Because when you first step in there, from the onset, you realize this is going to be a sophisticated journey. It's a homely atmosphere, full of etiquette and sophistication. Make sure you do about three months worth of overtime because be, you're going to be paying a bag in a box when you step into this establishment. You might be paying a few mortgage payments on the waffles and that. But overall, I think it's money well spent and a one in a lifetime experience that you should try before you collapse and go sleep. Like two true car moon, it's a mad thing. So when you ask me if it tastes nice, yes it does. I make sure you go try them out, yeah? Coventry, it's a mad thing. Don't you take me away? You took me away. Well done.